I'm going to show you guys how to use a CAX8 file in order to be able to edit the Hardway 10 bar 59 map sensors into your 06, 07, 59 um, utilizing EFI Live. So, first things first, you're going to have access to a folder here um, uh, via my Google Drive, or maybe I've emailed it to you, or however you get your hands on these files. You're going to see a list of files that are labeled CAX8 right here. Um, so these different numbers here associate with different numbers of operating systems that is uh, commonly available out there. I've also included a stock um, 1135-2602, which is an uh, 06, 07, uh, 59, 48, R, R, I'm sorry, 48 RE EFI Live file, as well as the exact same file that's modified for the Hardway 10 bar map sensor. So you can see this 1135-2602 correlates with that 1135-2602, which also correlates with this 1135-2602. So we're gonna do it from scratch here. If you go to edit on the 1135-2602 OEM file, which is this one that I have open, you will see that there's nothing below operating system patches. And when you go to the ECM sensors, the only thing you can edit in regards to the map sensor is boost pressure. Do not be fooled by this intake air temperature uh, thing they have in here. That is actually the sensor scaling for the intake air temperature sensor on the air filter, the sensor between the air filter and the turbo, which is also your barometric pressure sensor. So don't edit that thinking you're changing the temperature of your um, intake manifold temperature because you are not. Okay, pressing forward. How to do this. What you guys need to do is take all of these. I'm going to select the top one and the bottom one, and I'm going to hit Control C. So that selects all of them. Now, where we need to go is this folder right here, but I'm going to show you guys how to get there. So we're going to go to this is on your computer now. We're going to go to Documents. We're going to go to EFI Live. Select V8. Then we're going to select User Defined CAX 8. Then we're going to select CMB. This folder is empty. And since I have copied all of the CAX8 files from the other folder, I'm going to plop them right in there. Okay. So now all those are there. That's what we want. Now I'm going to go back over to here and I want to open up this file again. I'm just going to hit open down here. We're already going to have it right there. So OEM. Back to edit, you'll see it's the 1135-2602. Go to edit, internal flash, and now we have intake manifold temperature, map, and axes. Okay, I'm gonna full screen this guy right here. That wasn't full screen. There we go, we're gonna full screen this, bring things up so we can see it. Voila. Okay, so here is the intake manifold temperature scaled for stock. Uh, there's the map. So you've got 0 0.059 volts equals 130 degrees Celsius. If you want to see it in Fahrenheit, you can go like that. So 266 degrees Fahrenheit and all the way out here to negative 50. Okay, now we want to scale in the map sensor. Now that we have access to the table, we want to scale it in. Select this little guy right here. Open a second file for comparison. Select the HW10B59 file. This is gonna tell you your differences here, okay? Let's go back to our map and the axes. We're gonna change the axes first. We're gonna hit Alt, like so, bring it over. That changes the axes on the map. We're gonna to go to the actual map. We're gonna change that as well. Uh, what I did is I hit Alt, Control C. I'm sorry, it would be, do this from scratch, so I'll hit, uh, Alt, Control A, Control C, back to the calibration right there. And now we have both the map and the axes scaled correctly. We're going to go to ECM sensors, boost pressure, and change that. I have it set to bar right now because it is a 10 bar sensor. You can look at it however you want. If you want to look at it in PSI, go for it. So we're going to hit Alt, Control A, Control C, hit Cal, Control V. There you go. Now it's zero to 145 PSI. You want to look at it in bar again? Where's bar? Right there. Zero to 10 bar, just like that. So 
another way you can do it. I'm going to get out of here without saving and I'm going to do it again. So you guys can do it a different way if you'd like. I'm going to open the file again. So back to edit, internal flash. You'll see that our boost pressure is set to where it needs to be set to uh, for stock. Intake manifold temp is also stock. Okay, I'm going to compare back to the 10 bar 5.9 sensor. And from here, uh, I'm going to select um, everything that's not a different axis. Control A. No, I don't think that'll work because it's going to try to highlight that. So let's do take, highlight this. I'm going to hold down the shift button, highlight that, hit update. Cannot be undone correctly. Okay. And then um, there's this because it has a different axis. I did it that way. So we're going to select that one as well. Update, continue, copied correctly. So the only thing difference is the uh, checksum. We're not going to touch that. But now that we've done that, you can see that the changes are made there. There you go. Proper scaling of 10 bar map sensor. I'm going to hit save as. I'm going to label it as this. And then just because I don't want to write over the one I already have, I'm going to call it demo and save. Now you guys can um, install the map sensor, flash this file to your truck. And also you should be able to take any of your existing files that are um, EFI Live for a 5.9 and compare it back to this 10 bar 5.9 uh, um, file I have for you, regardless if it's a different operating system and you still, still should be able to make the exact same changes. So I hope that helps you guys out.